Hey, good afternoon. Scott Swinford, AmericanHeroHomeLoans.com. I'm going to wait just a moment here, see if anybody actually comes on. Um, if not, it's okay too. We'll get a chance to see it. Um, so it is Red Friday again, Red re meaning remember everyone deployed. Um, it's the time we remember, especially, and really we should every day, but our troops that are deployed overseas or even in country, I think some of the Indiana National Guard folks are down in Florida, uh, that area after the, the storms and the hurricane down there, uh, as well as the family and friends and loved ones, wives, husbands, children of those that are deployed. Um, so a big shout out to you. Thank you very much for your service. Thank you for what you do. And uh, hopefully you'll come on back soon. So um, today I want to talk a little bit about, hi Shauna. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, and Teresa and Jeff, uh, talk a little bit about the differences between VA and other appraisals. Now, I hear it a lot when I'm working with our veteran clients about, um, and sometimes even from real estate agents, to be honest with you, about how the appraisals are different or they're harder for, on a VA loan or that it's, it's tougher to get a, an appraisal through. And the, uh, and the truth is the appraisals are not any harder. What the appraiser is looking for, and it's essentially is to benefit the veteran, is they want to know what the property is safe, it's sound, it's sanitary, and again, you know, structurally sound, um, and that there aren't going to be any problems. In other words, does the water run? Does the furnace work? Um, is there plumbing? I don't think we can get it through if they have an outhouse, if all the neighbors have in, indoor plumbing. Um, so things like that. They just want to make sure that the veteran is safe when they move into the property, that they're not going to have to do a bunch of work or anything before they can move in. Again, they want the, the veteran and the family to be happy there uh, and not have issues. So that's really the biggest thing they look for on the appraisals. It's really not a lot different than it would be for an FHA, which looks at, or an FHA type loan, I should say, is that looks at things like broken glass or peeling paint or safety issues or you know, are there handrails on stairs and things like that? Really no different. What's very unique about the VA appraisal, though, is that, and especially for you as a veteran, that you're pretty well covered if the appraisal doesn't come into value. With a conventional or an FHA appraisal, if, for instance, you are offering $200,000 on a house and the appraisal comes back at one ninety. dollars if the seller's not able to sell it for that for some reason, of course, we would encourage them to potentially come down above the appraised value, but or to come down to the appraised value, I should say. But if they can't for some reason, you might have to bring in extra money. Again, with those loans, the VA, or I'm sorry, um, the lender will only loan on an FHA or conventional appraisal, generally 96.5% for FHA, uh, 95 or 97 percent, depending on what type of conventional, of either the purchase price or the appraised value, whichever is lower, which means you could be bringing in cash to close just because you're paying more than what it's worth. But on a VA appraisal, there are some options. And actually, what, what happens is, if, and I'm going to kind of shout out here to the real estate agents that are watching this right now, is do you know what the word tidewater means? If you're not sure what tidewater means, call me, let's talk. That's going to be important. Um, but what happens is the agents can actually influence the appraiser. The appraiser could reach out before they offer the notice of value or, or send the appraisal back in and say, you know, on this $200,000 house, I'm not getting that value. So send me the comps, send me some ideas of what you used when you priced this or when you made the offer on it. So maybe I'm just not seeing them. Let's try to get the value where it needs to be. So the, the, the agents can actually send in apples to apples comparisons to help the VA appraiser come up with the right value. If they still don't get to the value, and in certain situations, the underwriter can actually reach out to the VA and say, hey, you know, we'd really like to be able to do this loan for the veteran. However, the appraisal came back low. What can we do? And a lot of times we're still able to do the loan very unique to this particular loan. Now, obviously it's a great benefit to our veterans who are trying to buy a house, um, but it takes a little bit of work for the real estate agents and you need to understand this. So again, if you're a real estate agent, if you don't know what Tidewater means, um, 
reach out to me because that's extremely important. So uh, once again, you know, we're here to try to help our veteran borrowers out. That's what we do. We want to give you good information to help you make uh, good decisions as far as the loan product, uh, the loan price, how to do it, or how to get the loan through, how to get it approved. And again, we want to make sure that we are taking care of our veteran borrowers, whether they be the buyers or sellers. They have, they have written that check up to and potentially for their lives to be able to earn this VA home loan program. And that's our way of saying thank you. So uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Feel free to give me a call. My number is 219-695-0369. Otherwise, again, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay warm and uh, take care.